friends, so today I'm back with another no kid curls tutorial since some of you have been asking it and some of you have been wondering why I'm not making any of those things anymore but today I will be doing another one and we are going to be using uh, scotch Bright, <laughs> and this is for cleaning the dishes and I purposely chose this because some of you have been asking for um, no heat curls or no heat waves that are very comfortable to sleep with and they're also affordable so let's just go ahead and get started Alright, so now what I'll do with those sponges, I will cut that in the middle so that you'll have two pieces You'll create more pieces um, You all know this step, take a section of hair and then dampen it with water <laughs> And then this is just a little bit of tip. If your hair tends to tangle with the sponge, I highly suggest that you wrap it around with a tape. Now this is, um, I think, ideal for people who have long hair and this is good so that it's gonna be easier for you to wrap your hair around the sponge and also it's gonna be easier for you to remove it later without your hair tangling on the sponge. But if you don't have this problem, just go right ahead and wrap your hair with the sponge. Now, once you've covered everything, it's gonna look something like that. Now wrap it around your hair. Now on this side of my hair, I'm gonna take bigger sections of hair. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm actually going to bend it over so that both sides are going to meet. And then in here you have option. You can either use a midget clamp or a or an elastic band. I highly suggest if you're gonna sleep with it, use an elastic band for it. Um, with me, I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of hours in my hair, so I am going to be using a midget clamp. So that's what it looks like right now. And if anyone asks you, are those sponges on your head? Just tell them, you're yeah, right. You're yeah, right. And then just slowly drift away. Just go. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this on my head for a couple of hours and then I'll be removing it. And now I'll be removing it. And as I've said, on this side, I grab bigger sections of hair so you would see that the waves are going to look bigger and the wave formation is going to look bigger right there. And on the other side, I took smaller portions of hair or small sections of hair so now that's what it looks like right there so i just removed everything and these waves actually remind me of miley cyrus uh, waves before before she cut her hair short and um, you can leave that as is as well or you can run your fingers through your hair so that they don't look apart but with me I'm actually going to be brushing those waves later on so that they look more um, natural and it look more soft. So you can leave that as is if you want to, you don't have to brush it. But with me, I just opted that I'm gonna brush it up so to see how would it look like. So I'm gonna take a brush and then I'm just gonna brush my hair. Gonna, I'm kind of like brushing it in a zigzaggy motion and then just go straight. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, my hair looks soft and wavy. And it looks like it's just my natural hair texture. So what do you guys think? Do you like the that kind of like soft waves? Or do you like the more defined, you know, the one that we had before? And just leave me in a comment below. And please give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and I will see you on my next video. Bye! Also, if you want to see me with blonde hair, that's another heatless um, waves tomorrow. So I will see you tomorrow with this tutorial, and bye! bye, -bye.